In the Code Copters Challenge, you will explore remote sensing. I, I see. In the Code Copters Challenge, you will explore remote sensing principles through coding and use a coordinate system to program a drone flight pattern. Cool, right? If you don't have computer access, the first coordinate system, Code Copters in real life, will allow you and your team to use a grid and develop commands, which are phrases that the drone, or in this case your facilitator, will understand, so that he or she can move along the grid. The combination of these commands is called code. <laughs> Impressed? The second option is to visit the Scratch program online, where you will program a drone's coordinates to solve your community problem. Now, Next, you'll see a tutorial on how to get started with Scratch and learn how to complete the two solutions in your guides. Let's take a look. Once you have created a username and logged into Scratch, it's time to find the Drone Discovery Program. Scratch has changed the way that you can search for projects, so instead of searching for the title, you'll need to search for our username. So type in the search engine box for H-N-Y-S-D with no spaces. Hit enter and this will take you directly to our project. Drone Discovery, click on the title and in the same way that you would with any other project, to remix you click the See Inside button. This shows you all of the code, and to make your own project, you're going to hit Remix. Here you can now add your own title, and change the code however you'd like. When you are all done, you can hit File, Save Now, although the program does automatically save. And then to come back at a later time, you just have to click your username, hit My Stuff, and it will take you to a list of all of your existing projects. Make sure you remember to share your project so that all of the other 4-Hers across the country can see what you've accomplished. In order to share your project, you're going to hit, very simply, the Share button that comes up at the top of your project. You can also add notes to let us know how you successfully created your program. And then you're all set. Have fun! Once you've remixed the project and given yourself a new name, the first thing you're going to want to do is choose a backdrop that applies to the scenario that you created in the Mad Libs portion of the project. Once you hit Backdrops, you're going to go up here and hit Backdrops again and you're going to see a list of the different options of landscapes. There's a city, there's a practice grid if you want practice with an XY axis, a forest, a field, and a community. Each of these has different targets. I'm going to stay on the forest and damaged tree target. Once you've picked your backdrop, you're going to click on the drone sprite because this is what we need to program. And up here, you're going to hit scripts, which shows you your commands and your code that you've created. If we hit the flag, it's going to test out what's written so far. Right now, our drone only flies from the left to the right of the screen, and we want to make sure that it sees the entire landscape. If you're following along in the facilitator's guide, you'll see the next command is to change Y by negative 100. If you remember that X is the horizontal axis and Y is the vertical axis, then to move downwards, all we have to do is change our Y value by a negative number. 
After each command, it's good to hit the green flag and test what you've done. You'll see that we've now moved down. Now, if you want to move back to the other side, all you have to do is click and drag your drone where you want to go. The program automatically fills in the XY coordinates to the commands. You can drag the glide command and attach it to your program. And again, hit the green flag to see the result. If you want your drone to move slower, we can take a longer amount of time to move between your coordinates. We'll change this to three, and you'll see that now on this path, it moves much slower. Throughout the program, it will be detecting your target and keeping track down at the bottom of the screen. In this solution, I'm going to show you how to program the drone without using the coordinate system. Instead, we'll use simple direction, turn, and movement commands. To begin, you'll see that there's already some existing code. In this example, we don't want to use the glide command. In order to get rid of a command, all you have to do is drag and drop it back into the pool. To begin, we need to tell our drone which direction to face. These green wheels will help you tell. They are the front of the drone. We go to the command point in direction. Scratch makes it very simple. If you click the drop down box, it tells you 90 degrees is to the right, negative 90 to the left, zero is up, and 180 down. To begin, since we want the drone to move from the left to the right hand of the screen, we will take it facing to the right. Next, we need the drone to actually move. We can use just the move command. And again, after each command, it's good to check what you've done. We're moving in the right direction. However, we did not move nearly enough. I'm going to bump this up to 400 steps. We've now moved to the other side of the screen. If you want to see what the drone is doing as it's doing it, we can add a wait command. This doesn't change the code, but it allows us to see each command as it happens. I'm going to add a wait command after each command. Next, we need to turn the drone so it's facing downwards. Instead of pointing in direction down, I'm going to show you an alternative way to point it down. We can turn the drone 90 degrees. 90 degrees is the same as a quarter turn. And again, let's check our code. We moved, and now we're facing down. Again, I'm going to add the wait command so that we can see each step as it happens. And next, we want to move again, and I'm going to check 50 steps. This is, again, mostly trial and error. We're facing right, down, down, and we moved. You can continue this pattern all the way until your drone finishes surveying the landscape.